International Physics Conference opens in Prague tomorrow. Every year, the world's most eminent physicists meet for a week-long conference to share their latest discoveries in the field of nuclear physics. And this year is no exception. The recent death of world-renowned physicist Yaroslav Yerachek has shaken the world of science, and the conference will open with a tribute to his memory. Dr. Yerachek devoted his... Uh -huh. Hello there. <laughs> Sweet dreams. It's about time. The guy could freeze out here. Poor old Fuzzy Wuzzy. Was he getting cold feet? Lay off, Sarah. We got work to do. Hey, I've seen that before. You and everyone else. Don't even think about it. We could never sell it. Yeah, I guess you're right. It's in here. Okay, let's see what we got. Slam it, sweetie. Sure, I'm good at that. You did it! One down, and two more to go. Good. Let's go. No, hold on. Let's confuse the cops a bit. There, that should do it. Let's make tracks. So it is perfectly obvious that a charged pi meson, or pion, decays into two other particles, a neutrino and a muon. On the other hand, a kaon has many decay modes. So we know that the spin zero pion is the well, largest... Well, well, Professor of Mortimer. Of course, it's nuclear... Riveted by your colleague's discoveries, I see. I, uh... <laughs> Katerina Yurachek. Katerina. Yes, I know. I've grown. How's your father? He couldn't make it. Did you get his letter? Oh, yes. I have it right here. No, not now. Please, come by the house later. I have something important to show you. What do you... Later, Professor. Remember to bring the letter. Ladies and gentlemen, I am delighted to introduce Dr. Katerina Yurachek. Thank you, Professor Hasek. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish to begin by saying... It seems nothing was stolen, sir. Why break into a museum in the dead of night to smash an old tablet? Well, maybe it's a cult thing. Inspector! Come and look! There! Look at that! What? I don't believe it! That's a surprise. We'll have to improvise. Cover me.
you. Shoot. Well done, Captain. But it's only lead. More lead? That's the fifth load of lead we picked up in two months. Captain Blake. For you, from Paris. From Inspector Pradier. <laughs> Father was very ill. I'm so sorry, Katerina. When did he die? Just three weeks ago. It was a happy release. Poor Yaroslav. He was a good man. Before he died, he left me a great secret. Really? What? Part of a book by Nicholas Flamel. The Alchemist. That's the one. Abraham the Jew wrote a book in three parts, seven tablets apiece. It solves the great mystery. Of the Philosopher's Stone? Yes, that's it. These old houses are always drafty. It looks like Hebrew, but I'm sure it's even older. It might be Aramaic. They say he tried for years to translate it, but he never succeeded. Then he went on a pilgrimage to St. James of Compostela, where a learned Jew gave him the key. How nice. Somehow I don't think he'll help us 600 years later. I hoped you'd help me. You're an expert in old languages. I'll do what I can, but this is beyond me. Please keep trying. That text could tell us how to transform matter. Change base metal into gold. That's one of the very oldest dreams. The Philosopher's Stone also gives eternal life. Oh, I, I'll believe that when I see it. Modern physics has proved that we can change matter as we please. We can, in fact, turn lead into gold, although it's not profitable. I grant you that, Katerina, but do you really think these tablets hold the key to eternal life? Oh, did you bring the letter from my father? Yes, but I'm afraid some of it isn't too clear. My dear Philip, blah, blah, blah. Ah, a bit about the book. The time is fast approaching when... It must be restored to its true owner. The three parts must be reunited. I have one section here. The second must be hidden in Paris at the Cluny Museum. And the third rests beneath the feet of John, Felix and Ivan. I dare not write more clearly. I rely on you. Please guard my secret and my Katerina. Farewell, my friend. It's all very mysterious. Who is it to be returned to and why now? Hmm, it's late. I must be going. You could stay here. It's a big house and I'm a bit nervous. Well, in that case, I'd love to keep you company. This certainly is a very drafty dwelling. like a charm. I'm a pro, you know. Ah, yes, of course. And now? I have it all under control. 
Good. Then we shall meet in Prague. But beware, Colonel. I beg your pardon. Keep your bargain, or you'll regret it. See you. How are you, Prodje? Any clues? Well, at first glance, it looks like vandalism. Then why did you call me in? The Yellow Brand. The Yellow Brand's back! He terrorized London, now Paris is his prey! Exclusive pictures and an interview with Inspector Pradier. Mm. What were you thinking of, you twit? I meant well, boss. I wanted to throw them off the scent. Well, it worked. It did work, Colonel. They don't know where to turn. They're not as dumb as you think. But so what? Let's move on to phase two. We're all going to be rich, beyond the dreams of avarice. Yeah, but boss, that guy, you know. Sharky, trust me, we'll use him as long as it suits us. Yeah, but listen, boss, I don't like it, you know. He's scary. Stop worrying. Believe me, I can handle him. Welcome to Prague. That's the old city over there. The Jewish quarter is on the left. The new town is on the right. It's beautiful. And the river down there, that's the Vitava, isn't it? Of course. And that's the Charles Bridge down there. The Charles Bridge? Why, that's it! Pardon? I have it! Come on! But what do you have? John, Felix, and Ivan. Uh, oh, your father's letter. I know what he meant. May I introduce Ivan, John of Matha, and Felix of Valois? Saints. Yes, saints. And I'll bet the second part of the book is hidden here. You're probably right. Hold it. What? I know that man. Which one? The ape? That's the one. A friend of yours? Not really. We mustn't lose him. I'd love to know what Sharky's doing here. Who's the girl? No idea. But if Sharky's here, then Ulrich can't be far away. Excellent thinking. <gasps> he landed in Prague yesterday. If you could see your face, Philip, old man, they might have been watering your whiskey. By the daughter of Glan McGregor. Francis! Shh! Is there anyone you don't know? So Ulrich is stealing lead, and I want to know why. But there's no point. So it would seem. But Ulrich isn't a man to waste his time. He leaves nothing to chance. And why would Shaki take an interest in old statues and an alchemist dead all these years? And where does the yellow brand fit in? It may be a trick. The oldest trick in the book. Hmm. Is someone playing the fool, then? I've no idea, Philip. You're complicating things. It all fits together. Don't you see? 
What's the Philosopher's Stone supposed to be able to do? It changes lead into gold. That useless load of old lead could be turned into a gold mine. Let's twist it enough to appeal to Ulrich. It all links up beautifully. Someone desecrated Nicolas Flamel's grave in Paris. That's the tombstone in my father's letter, right? These men are looking for the Philosopher's Stone. She's right, you know. We must lock up the tablets we have and collect the others as fast as we can. There's no time like the present. This is the Chertovka. It is also called the Devil's Flood. How nice. The tablets must be well hidden, or someone would have spotted them. At Cluny, they had to smash the stone to get what they were looking for. I hope it'll be different here. I'd hate to damage those statues. My father wanted us to find the tablets. It can't be too hard, or he would have left us more clues. I doubt he could put them inside the statues. Maybe in the plinth. How old are they? The statues? 1714, but the bridge is much older. It was built in the 14th century. So we're back at Flamel again. What did he say in his letter? Beneath the feet of John, Felix, and Ivan. He didn't put the book in the statues. He put it underneath them. Maybe even under the bridge itself. Give me some light. Let me do it, Philip. Don't be silly. Be careful, Professor. Stubborn, ruddy Scot. I heard that. Made it. This looks promising. Philip, please be careful. Not a gap. A stone missing. What a hiding place. If I could just reach it. There's something inside here. I've got it. I have it. I have it. What's that? Good for you, Professor. Energetic as ever, Professor. And cowardly as ever, Colonel. That will do. Give Sharky the package. Slowly, Professor. No! Let him go, Sarah. The woman's a fool. You, over here. Let her go. I swear I won't follow you. You're in no position to negotiate, Blake. And don't try to play the hero.
Are you all right? You had me worried. Oh, my <laughs> head. Katerina. Ulrich took her hostage. The scoundrel. It's all my fault. I should never have let her come with us. I don't think she's in too much danger. In Ulrich's clutches? I hope you're right. He only has two of the tablets. We have the third one. He'll try to make a trade. Probably. Oh, I found this on the bridge. Why? It's a business card. I suppose Ulrich must have dropped it. Lasco F. Milena. Odd name. I'll pay him a visit tomorrow. Discreetly. Ulrich may have won the first battle, but the war's not over yet. Excuse me, sir. Yes? Who does that house belong to? Do you know? <laughs> Why, that's the devil's house, my friend. <laughs> He's not mocking you. That's what we all call it, the devil's house. Everyone in Prague knows that house. They say that's where Dr. Faust lived. You know, the man who tried to make a bargain with the devil? Yes, I've heard of him. And before that, they say an alchemist lived there. An alchemist? Nicholas Flamel? No, that wasn't the name. He was English. Edward Kelly was his name. Is it open to visitors? Oh, no, sir. Unfortunately, it's not. Ah, someone lives there. Oh, no, at least. They say not. But don't believe it. There's someone in there. I'm certain there's someone hiding in there. Did you see him? Well, no, not exactly, but things go on in there. Things like what? Things that aren't quite right. Thank you. You've been very kind. It's a pleasure. What the dickens can it mean? What's this? That's rather odd. What about this one? Huh? Yes, that's fine. I'll be there. Yes, I'll be alone.
by George. Professor, I'm delighted to see you for once without your inseparable friend, Captain Blake. Get to the point. Of course, you brought what I wanted. Good. Come here. Closer. Hand over the briefcase. Not a chance. Let Katerina go. You can trust me, Mortimer. Trust you? I would have to be mad. You'll be together again soon. Katerina! Philip! Blake! Quick, get him inside. I'll handle this. There, take that. Stop, that's enough. Captain Blake, come down or I shoot your professor friend. I won't warn you again. Come down or he's dead. Don't shoot, I'm coming. Farewell, dear Captain Blake. Oh, I missed him! Tights are simply lovely. Har, har. It's lucky for you the boss wants you conscious. Enjoy your meal. I propose a toast to the future. The untrammeled future. Come, Katerina, don't sulk. Don't you like the dress? It suits you very well, you know. Spare me your flattery. As you wish. Sharky, you've a mind of your own. I like that. I have some fabulous plans. If you knew how fed up I am with all this globe trotting, I shall settle here. My family has lived here for countless centuries. At last, I'll be able to renovate it. I had no idea you cared so much about older values. You're a sentimentalist, Colonel. Oh, you don't know me, Katerina. No one on earth knows me. You would be content to play the lord of the castle? With your gorilla and his maul to wait on you? Why ever not? No, you're right. I'll have this castle, but I'll have something else beyond price. I'll have time, understand? I'll have all eternity before me. Gold is nothing compared to eternal life. Give me time and I'll build an empire. That is what I offer, Katerina. Eternal life and an empire to reign over. For all eternity? With a maniac like you? I could never stand it. Perhaps you're right. Eternity's a long time. It's even longer than you think, Colonel. Milena. I believe you have something to give me, don't you? No, nothing. Beware, Colonel. The book does not belong to you. It belongs to whoever holds it. It's mine and I'll keep it. You are mistaken. You may regret it. Ah, threats. I'm not at all impressed. I'm not Sharky, you know. I meant to do this later, but... <gasps> Silly man. It is not me you should fear, believe me.
this is not getting us anywhere. Even Flamel would have needed a translator. And who says he actually figured it out? I mean, it's only a legend. What about the metal? And what about the man I saw last night, Milena? There's no proof. able to decipher the book? The book? Great Scott, no. Lasco F. Milena. Oh, yes? I always thought it was an odd name. What do you mean, Professor? I know what Milena means. Look. Nicholas Flamel. Of course, it was obvious. So the man I saw last night was Nicholas Flamel. Yes, I think so. If only Blake were here, he could tell us more. He was looking for Milena. That's it. I have it. What? What are you talking about? It was just before Alred called me that I noticed something. Look here, you see that? Those aren't scratches, those were carved on purpose. You're quite right. We must try to match them up. That's the real message. The rest is just camouflage. These two fit together? So do these. And this one. And here's another one. This one fits here. These look right together. Yes, bravo, Catalina. And the last one fits in here. There we are. I've seen that symbol before on an old etching. It seems to me it stands for something simple, like a sulfur and antimony. Oh, good Lord! It's spreading. So, how are you getting on? Not at all. We're utterly and completely baffled. I find it hard to believe that the man who built the swordfish could be so easily stumped. You should have kidnapped a pair of linguists. What a pity. I was so looking forward to a chance of working with you. But if you can't help me, I'll have to dispense with your company, I'm afraid. Deeply, though, it pains me. We've known each other for so long, I've grown quite fond of you. Why, Ulrich, how very kind. As for you, Katerina, my sweet, I simply couldn't face life without your delightful company. You are a thug. No, no, you flatter me, Sharky. If the professor would deign to return to his suite, isn't it?
By the Tartan of Clan... Francis! Ouch! I thought you'd be glad to see me. I'm awfully sorry. It's all right. A British skull is as hard as a Scots any day. Come, come, Francis. I said I was sorry. Right. Let's get moving. We must find Katerina. Where did he put her, do you know? She said she's in her room in the other wing of the castle. I hope it's cheerier than this one. Come on. Congratulations, Sharky. That was a stroke of pure genius. It just happened, boss. It just happened? No, I don't think so. Bring me some of those lead bars. Okay, boss. There, that should do it. Katerina, it's Mortimer. Philip, and Captain Blake. Thanks, old bean. My skull would never have stood up to that. So, Melina is none other than Nicholas Flamel. That's what we think. He'd be over 600 years old. I shudder to think what Ulrich could do in 600 years. It's up to us to make sure that he doesn't get them. Gently now. Go on. It actually worked. It's gold, pure gold. By the Tartan of Clan McGregor. How did they figure it out? What I want to know is how does it work? The richest man in the world. No, wait a second. I want to try something. Hey, boss! I know what I'm doing. Wonderful. I feel the energy flooding through me. I feel eternal life. Stop! Go no further! <laughs> Mortimer, you're just in time to help me celebrate. And dear old Captain Blake as well. My worst enemies come to witness my supreme achievement. How appropriate. <laughs> Be warned, Ulrich. I won't let you do it. You won't shoot me, Mortimer. You won't gun me down in cold blood. Don't be too sure of that, Ulrich. In a few seconds, I shall be immortal. Immortal, you hear? Shoot him, Philip. Shoot him! Ulrich has met his fate at last. The book grants immortality only to the pure in heart. He should not have forgotten that. The time is come. The book must be returned to its first and rightful owner without delay. To the fallen angel who wished to give knowledge to humankind. Lucifer! Yes, Lucifer, son of the morning. Farewell. That bar is our only evidence that we didn't dream the whole thing. And pretty shaky at that.
I still wonder if we weren't being conned. By whom, though? This bar was changed from lead to gold. I analyzed it. It really is pure gold. All right, all right, I give in. Are you sure you can't stay on for a few days? I wish I could, but they're waiting for me at Scotland Yard. Enjoy your holiday. Well, I'm in good hands. Look out for Ulrich's ghost. I'm sure he'll haunt us yet. At last, Philip, now we can pick up your visit where we left off. <laughs>